Good morning. It's uh, a pretty overcast day and there's a possibility of some lightning later, but I'll deal with that if and when it happens. The river has got a bit of flow on it. I understand that yesterday it was coloured, but it seems to have fined down overnight. Now this piece of river you may recognise and you probably ask why do I keep fishing this piece of river? Well this is the top end of the stretch and the lower end of the stretch at this time of year is frequented by walkers, picnickers, dogs, swimmers etc etc. So we try and keep to this area out of the way of all of those distractions. The other thing of course is that there's more likely to be fish up here. Now it hasn't been stocked for two months so whether there's any fish at all I don't know but we will find out. I've got a uh, olive quill, a golden olive quill nymph on the point and an olive and peacock collar on the dropper so we're all olive. Now if it gets really difficult then I may have to switch to the trusted Fritz to try and catch a fish but we'll see how we get on with the nymphs first and go from there. So the canes have certainly exploded <laughs> Look at that first cast and there's a madria, which is what I don't want. Come on fish, cough up. There. So hopefully they don't cause me too much of a problem with them hanging over the, uh, the river. to the flow and the depth it's not too deep here it will deepen up a little bit further upstream the point fly is a size 16 with a 3.3 copper bead with it having not been stocked for such a long while my expectations today are not high but let's hope we can attract something well, I hope that Madria is not the only fish that I take in this stretch <coughs> that would be disappointing There's just a little bit of colour in the water. It's not uh, as clear as it has been. Right, I have a little look in that alcove over there. See if there's anything lurking.
a lot happening at present. Before I revert to the dreaded fritz, I just put on uh, a gasolina on the point to see whether that makes any difference. There's a fish following it then as I brought it back. Let's see if I can encourage him again. doesn't want to know. Okay guys I've succumbed. I've had absolutely no interest at all to the nymph. So let's see how we get on with the fritz. All these overhanging canes sometimes casting can be a bit difficult. There you go. This isn't proving very successful either. I thought if they're here, I should get an instant offer, but nothing has happened. So I can only assume that there's little to no fish here. <laughs> So far, this is a bust. Can only hope for better things further upstream. for that. Small but very welcome. And off you go my friend. Well, at last we got some uh, some fruit to the uh, got some fruit to the pie. Sincerely hope that's not the only one that's in this uh, in this stretch. Okay, it 
It's not just the one in this stretch, so I'm going to go further upstream. Well, this is proving difficult. Still, can't have it exciting every day. Come on, fishy. Don't be frightened. Yeah. It's beginning to get a bit despondent. Let's come out in the net. Off you go, fish. Certainly two fish is nothing to write home about, but on a day like today, the river is really out of sorts, I think. This may be this little bit of colour that's in the water. I don't know. It's difficult to say. A little bit of extra water in as well. Who knows? I'm just going to have a cut the cast down the middle. We'll cross over. See if there's anything lurking. Let's cross over then. Let's take a little olive hairs here with the peacock colour. See if we can get that out. There it is in the top lip there. Yeah, off you go my friend. Well, that's kept the, uh, the form up, hasn't it? One in each stretch. Let's see if we can find another one. Tied an olive, just a standard olive nymph on hairs here. Let's see if we can attract anything with that. First cast that I've got where I want it. Not that it's making any difference. <laughs>
let's move on. Just the one fish then. Fair whipping through here. All right, this is uh, proving unsuccessful. So I think what I'm going to do is what I always do rather than waste a day on the river, is I'm going to put on a couple of mini buggers and see if I can't attract some fish. Dear oh dear, what a sad state of affairs. Okay, I've tied on a white mini bugger and I've put the fritz on behind it. Let's see what happens underneath there. we we'll start possibly just a fish on the very first cast. What do you think of that? What do you think of that? I haven't changed the, uh, and it's come to the orange fritz. Oh, oh, I've got two. That's why, that's why I'm in trouble. I've got two guys. That's one. Well, what do you think of that? That was all a bit clever, wasn't it? Too clever for my own good, really. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see now. Right, that one can go. That's the hook out of that one. And the smaller one. I think that one's out as well. Right, well, that was a bit of a turn up, wasn't it? From nothing to a double. What do you think of that? Now I'm in a bit of a mess with the old uh, landing net and the hooks here and the flies. Right, that's one out. the other one out. Well that's got to be worth another go isn't it? It's got to be worth another go. See if I can get a bit further into the river here. As I'm coming out from underneath. Oh, that's uh, sneaking up to the top, I'm afraid, in that current. Current's bringing it up to the top too quick. I've got to be careful not to get caught on these canes because uh, with it coming up to the top. Oh, oh God, dear. What do you think of that? Dear, oh dear. Oh, 
Is that luck or is that not? I don't know. Let's see if I can get it around here. Oh. It would never have come out, that's for sure, because it was double wrapped. Right. So another go. Oh, it's a bit exciting, wasn't it? Let me go to another area now. See if I can get myself out of here without hitting the deck. Water's pretty shallow here, so I'm going to move further down. You've seen me fish this stretch before with a mini bugger. And on the way up, I only had one fish out of here. So let's see if there's any more in here that will come to the same two flies, which is a white mini bugger on the point and the fritz on the dropper. Oh, not much. Grief even got it I'd hardly got it into place oh my friend dear oh dear oh. certainly shows that there are more than one fish in here off you go what came out in the net which is excellent that's absolutely crazy Dear, oh dear, you can certainly bank on the old mini bugger to stop you having a blank day. Okay, off we go then. Okay, here we go. Let's see if there's anything under the canes. I wonder whether there's still a bit of colour in the water. This little bit of green tinge has uh, put them down. I don't know, I'm sure. Oh, that rock nearly put me down. if we can find anything. It can be sometimes exciting fishing this way. It can also be very frustrating as you've seen me feel in the past. The sun's come out, which wasn't uh, really forecasting until a bit later on today. I don't know what's happened to the, uh, the lightning, which was also forecast. Not that I mind, of course. I think I'm going to put on uh, another tippet. Put on a heavier fly behind the white mini bugger. I'm happy with that. I'll see you in a minute. Alright, I've tied on a 
same orange uh, fritz behind but uh, a slightly heavier bead so I was a bit apprehensive about the flies coming up to the surface and getting caught in the uh, in the canes Mind you, if there are no fish here, it won't matter a jot. Obviously our fish here. The white mini bugger, there's a surprise. Come back here, where are you going? I don't want to go over there. Come on. Oh my gosh, that's a dark colour. Suggests it might have been in here for a long while. Off we go, my friend. Not terribly big. Extremely welcome. Mm. <laughs> a bit of luck, I think. over the top of the cane and back round again. But it's left me with a bit of a mess. Right, let's have another go. in some respects it's a disappointing day's fishing maybe not for some but uh, I think it's been not what I was hoping for having to resort first of all to the, the fritz and now to the mini bugger just to catch a few fish certainly is not what I anticipated although I guessed it would be hard There's a little tap then. Hmm, not a lot happening, is there? I'm suffering, chaps and chapesses. I am suffering. Suffering for your benefit, of course. Of course, if you would like to see more suffering on my channel, and please subscribe. Oh, that was an offer. Gosh. That's what you get for talking. Let's 
see if we can uh, carry on speaking about uh, things and maybe I'll get another hit. <laughs> yes, all of this uh, fishing that I do is trying to create some interest for the channel, uh, creating videos, sometimes not so pretty, other times absolutely super days fishing. But that's what fishing is all about. Some days are good, some days are bad. And you have to adapt to the conditions and the fishing to try and catch a few fish, which is what I've done today. I've tried perdigons, nymphs, fritz, uh, me, others. Just, just try everything to try and catch a fish, put a fish in the net. So it's don't give up. of something. Can I get to it without going under? You've got to be careful of these underwater canes, I'm afraid. Doesn't take much to get hogged up on the canes, that is. It takes a whole lot more to get hooked up onto a trout. Come on, fishes. Make an effort like that. Come on, dude. interesting because I've lost the uh, I've lost the fret somewhere but caught on something it's come out off you go certainly are small Do about that. 